Yo guys, Kirby here and today I will show you how to set up your XSplit for Twitch or own TV. So first of all download XSplit and then you should have it like this. Um, you go to tools, general settings and profile. Here you have you enter your name and your XSplit uh, account details which you should have created before uh, then you go to general settings set your standard microphone and where you want to have your local recordings if you will do them you don't have to do any further changes here then we go to channels you click on add and you need to click on more because you don't have those entries for Justin TV slash Twitch and owned. Then you click on more. Uh, just go to Justin TV slash Twitch and click install. And the same for owned, depends on what you want to use. Then you will get these entries and you can choose them. If you click on add on owned TV, you will get this here and you just enter your own TV username and your password choose your stream which you should have set up before on the own side then you open up the drop down menu choose the server with the lowest ping for you so for me it is Europe and you choose that then we go on to the video settings. Quality 6 is default I think so just leave that on 6 that's fine. Um, same goes for here just leave XSplit default it's very fast if you want to have that. Um, then here's the important part the VBV max bitrate. That's the bitrate which will XSplit, XSplit take for your upload. So you guys should be aware of your upload speed. If you don't know that, you go to speedtest.net in your browser, then you get this window and click begin test. This will test your download and upload speed from your internet provider. So the download speed doesn't affect this in any way. It's only your upload speed that counts. Um, as max bitrate you want to set mostly your maximum upload speed minus 200 or 300 kilobit per second so that there's still room for other programs to upload things so I have 0 0.9 so I should set my max bitrate to 600 or maybe 700, 600 is better, it's better if you have a better, if you have more space between your maximum upload and your max bitrate here. Uh, don't touch the VBV buffer, it changes automatic, automatic, automatically with your <laughs> max bitrate. Uh, resolution, you don't change that here, you change it in the view later. For audio encoding you will have speak selected per default and you can't go AAC because you don't have premium and I have it. So just leave those settings as they are, they are fine. Then you click OK and you should have your stream here. Same goes for Twitch TV, not much to say there. Only difference is that you could use your stream key is the same thing as entering the password. Uh, you choose your channel, same for as on owned. You choose the best server, also same as on owned. Settings are the same, so just take them from there. Then you can go to resolutions and tick and untick those resolutions you want to have. 
best would be resolutions about from range 768x432 or above because else your quality will be really bad. It depends though on how much upload speed you have. Um, for streaming HD for example you need a um, minimum upload for XSplit with 1 Mbit that's 1000 kilobit to stream in 1280x720. Uh, you can get those uh, those bit rates what you need for HD and for which resolutions from the XSplit side and just check them yourselves. Usually you should if you have one uh, one Mbit upload you can go with 1280x720. So that's it for here. Then you go to frame rate 25 should be selected else select 25. Uh, resolution, just pick your resolution and the scale viewport is useful if you have um, a big resolution selected and it's almost whole of your screen then you put in like 60% or even 50 I have 60% so if I change that this, the XSplit window will get bigger. Um, how do you get your screen now? streamed. First of all you wanna add a screen region. So you go to add, add screen region and then click on your taskbar. So you get your whole screen there. Then you see your screen here and you just go to the edge of this window and drag it to maximum size and now you see what will be displayed on your screen uh, on your stream I'm sorry as well. So that's it for here. You can add a camera as well. You have to have it installed before. So I have it already. So here you see my webcam. You can drag that window as well. Um, here it's, the layers are the same as in Photoshop. The lower it is, the further in the back it is. So now you don't see the cam because it's in the background and you can also hide it by unchecking it here or if you want to completely remove it you click the remove simple as that you can click more sources and get different things like title which is very useful if you want to leave a message for your viewers if you're AFK or something like that and yeah also make sure if you have your screen set up make sure to save your presentation give it a name mine is play and cast then save it because sometimes it happens that XSplit just crashes and then you lose your settings from the source from the scenes not f your other settings those are saved but from the scene and then you can just go to file load presentation and just restore it again so how do you start streaming now you click on broadcast and choose the stream you want to stream on for me it's own TV this time I click on own TV here you get the message that uh, you have your link from the stream in control V so you can send it to other people and in the red font at the top now you can see that your stream is running if the frames are encoded frames dropped is not that good that's from the connection so usually you should have zero here and here you see your actual bitrate at the moment and the viewers count for the volume of your stream, the microphone volume you could, you can have maxed. For your speakers, I recommend to put it down to three or four bars, maybe lower if you have a lo if it's really loud. Just ask a friend if he can watch your stream and tell you how loud your music is or your in-game sounds, and if he can hear you talk through your mic and just adjust these settings. 
same goes for if you have lags in game you have to play a bit with the with the settings but that's too deep for this video so if you have any questions ask it in the comment section or ask me in lol or in teamspeak and yeah have fun with your stream guys and good luck with your gaming